Present day. <laughs> Present time. <laughs> Okay, guys, so I know every year we come to this thing we always do, and we say that every year is the year of the Linux. It's to the point that this has become kind of like a meme, as you like to call it. But I have to admit that there's been a huge rise on the Linux desktop as in lately. It's not just EU switching, like the government's to switch into Linux. It goes as far as even gaming and even some normies. So in here... This right here is the Linux desktop usage in the United States. And this is just the United States alone. Linux at the moment is on an all-time high of 5.03 of the market share, which is almost more than 40% than last year. And here we can see Canada's Linux desktop usage. And right here we can even see Japan. Even Japan is going up by a little bit. And yes, this has to do a lot with the government in Denmark. You know how the government in Denmark basically not only did Microsoft Office and switch into Liver Office, but they also changed their whole workflow to actually run Linux. Because as we know, Windows is coming soon to the end of life. And not only would this affect the software, like some softwares might not work, but see... The thing with Windows is that it's no longer getting support. You not only open yourself to vulnerabilities, but you're risking that even old software or legacy software not to run under it. See, the thing with Windows 11, it's it, it not only requires TPM 2.0, but the the processor it, that that's like a technically technical type of situation. Okay, here's the thing. Yes. You have you you need to just have one a processor that could run at least one gigahertz with a sixty four bit processor, but that's a big catch the way I see it because yes, it could be capable, but it always does this thing where it won't allow you. Yes, there's workarounds that you could actually make it work, but let's be honest, they don't know how to trick the operating system to accept that old processor. But this whole thing, it almost seemed like they're trying to get companies to actually put more money down. And yeah, people are not too happy about that, I would say. And the thing is, when you have like an office workflow, you don't really need something that's that powerful. So I don't know why Microsoft keeps freaking shooting themselves in the foot. It's like a set. It's almost as if Microsoft just wants these companies to just put more money down. And it's not only office jobs, like... I've seen a huge growth on the Linux desktop under gaming in that area of, of Linux, and it's been pretty huge. And the thing is, yes, the Steam Deck and Vel had to do a lot with this, but that will only be half true. I've I've been streaming, and while I've been streaming, I've had a lot of people come in my stream and telling me how they switched to Linux. People who are gamers that game on desktop, even they changed their whole workflow to Linux. They explained to me how Capital AI and all this stuff, all this bloat that Windows has, that it annoyed them to the point they were willing to switch to a whole new operating system, change their workflow, and learn something completely new. A lot of them told me how much better Linux performs for gaming. And a couple of streams ago, I was surprised to see that Linux desktop on Steam, like there, I saw this Steam survey chart thingy, and apparently Arch Linux went out by the 0.27 arch linux like what i think this has to do a huge part of this this actually has to do with um steam os because steam os is a, is a linux distro that's actually based on arch linux okay this is going to be really hard to say while laughing out loud but <laughs> i can't make this up okay guys so Apparently, so Pornhub did their, they do like an operator system usage according to web tracking. And this year, they reported that the Linux usage on the Pornhub site has gone up by 41%. <laughs> I can't make this up, guys. I swear. I can't make this up. So, yeah. Linux is even being tracked on. They're even tracking what operating system you're gooning in. And, yes, Linux is growing. And this is partially also fall of Microsoft for being the way that they are. But I feel like a lot of people, when they come to Linux, um, like we just have to teach the newcomers what makes Linux so good and open source software and teach them why it's so important. Because most people don't even care about privacy. And I feel like if we educate themselves and tell them why it matters, why we should be fighting against it, 
I guarantee you that this will make the market share grow even more. And a lot of people are waking up to this idea, you know? Anyways, that's all for today. Didn't want to make nothing too big. Anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification, do all that stuff. All of, ew, okay, do all that stuff. And until next time, and remember, stay spooky, stay weird. <laughs>